Hello? Yoo-hoo! Hello? Here's Ollie! Hello? Time to pay the piper, Jack. Nothing like sitting when you've been walking. was I could carry a pack like this and not think twice about it. Where is he? Good Christ! He's gone off! He can't have gone off! I've got things to tell you, Jack! It's his last show. How'd you ken that? The camera's smashed. No! I can't leave here until everyone knows the truth. Let's see what Jack has to say for himself. Hmm. I'm sure I had it right here. Uh, you know, there are times that you can actually take a little too much joy and, um... Well, then you can't remember where anything is, can you? Ah, yes. Here it is. Uh, Mrs. Florence Gilbert of Brougham Hayes is holding an exhibition of her hand-knit dolls. Oh, she likes to make dolls from all over the world, all knitted in wool. It's his last you show. How'd you ken that? The, the camera's doll. smashed. They couldn't have shot another. Do you know who'd have liked that? Margaret, yeah. Why is he talking about you? Who's Margaret? Because hmm? I love dolls. <laughs> what am I talking about? Who cares about the past? Well, listen, do drop by to see these fabulous dolls at Mrs. Florence Gilbert's. Poor thing. Poor thing? She loved dolls, you know. She had dozens of them from all over. I can assure you that there's absolutely no truth to the silly rumor that the food is running out. How does he know about your dolls? However, it is true. That there's a brand new flavour of joy! Jesus. You think a twelve year daughter would be over dolls? His daughter? Yes, Ollie. But she'd make these darling little costumes. I knew it was wrong. I mean... God. She was even excited about going to Germany. It was me! Imagine living without it, so. So I hid her. Someone tipped them off. And she ran. No, that's not right. It was Jack what turned you in, and I what tried to save you. No, Ollie. You turned me in. I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. But you were my daughter. Jack Worthing. Margaret I mean it. Worthing. You're Ollie Starkey. No, I couldn't have. I could never have betrayed you. Yeah, my neighbor. I was your neighbor. Oh, how could I? How could I do a thing like that to a little girl? Dear God. Dear God, I'm sorry, Margaret. I never meant to hurt you. It's a bit late for an apology. What, what can I do? Tell me. Do you hear me? We've come to the end of our time. The food's run out. We're all going to starve to death. You have to stop taking your joy. Take it from Jack Worthing. That's me. People have to know. That Jack's your father? Stop. That Jack's gone. That the food's run out. All have to stop. That they have to stop, stop taking the joy. Stop it. You have to broadcast the tape. Right. Right. I could do that. But you won't, will you? God. God, I never meant to hurt you, Margaret. I'm sorry. It's 
not going away. They've cut the power. The bastards. There's an emergency. One of those really power thingy-mabobs. You're on air. The Bobby Popper. More. The Bobby Popper. More of them. Stop going away. That was rather brutal. It is. Watch out! Someone's coming! Stop going away! I'm afraid we can't get any of our time. Oh, we're running out of power! that tight player! Did you hear me? We can't get any of our time! Good! No! The booze run out! We're all going to stop the point! Someone's coming through the popper! Oh, nice guy. Oh, what a cat druggie. Ah, stop taking your droids! This is what we train for. Come to the end of our time. I guess walking out the front door's out of the question. Good thing you get that float. <laughs> 